I'm Z Garcia. Welcome back to our continuing coverage here from Origins 2018. I'm here with Cynthia. Hi, from uh, oh oh hello bring it in yes how formal like we haven't seen each other yet I know you know so uh, Cynthia and uh, what is that presence I feel <laughs> I just got Bonacord got Bonacord all right so we're gonna be taking a look at a few different games here we're gonna start off with steam rollers right here Absolutely. I don't really know very much about it but it does look like a roll and write it is and it's a fantastic roll and write. Tell you me are, about it. It's a pick up and deliver. Okay, so I like that. You are trying to deliver the cubes from the, like the yellow cubes to the yellow city. Okay. And the red cubes over to the red city. So they never start in the same color section as where they are. Sure. But now you have to draw tracks because here's your map. You need to draw tracks from the city to the city to be able to deliver them. Got it. You score extra points if you go through a town along the way. Okay. Okay. Now, how do you do that? You roll the dice. One more than the number of players plus this black one. Okay. This black one will tell you what kind of track you can draw. Right, so, so the curvature, uh, right. Right, so you have the straight line, the, the, the big curves, and then the tight curves. So you have your choice. When you pick a dice, you can draw a track. So this two, you can draw a track in the red area. Oh, okay. Or you can increase your engine so that it's a little heavier and can go more spaces because how how big your engine is depends on how far you can deliver. Okay. Or you could steal one of these things, which will give you extra special bonus things through the game. Got okay? it. Okay, and sometimes another player might have them. Um, or you can pick up from the section and deliver it to the correct section as long as your engine is big enough to carry it. And you've got your whole track already at that point. Well, you can only have part of your track as long as so if I had a track that went from two to four, I could pick up a dice and deliver the gray cube to the gray city. Got it. Okay, so you just, you gotta get your track built and you're trying to balance getting it all done. And the more cities you go through along the way, the more points you're going to score. So are you going to deliver when your track is short and you score or less points? Are you going to extend your track and maybe the cube won't be there because somebody else will deliver it? These are decisions you have to make. But Very once nice. you do get the cube, you, you can turn like three red cubes in for some extra bonus points. Okay. So these will be out there. There will be six of these out there for every game. Then there will be these tiles, and then there are also some starting bonus tiles that you can use as well. So if this starts to grow a little bit like now it's too easy, well then you just whip out this board and roll one of the dice, and you put in these barriers so you can't go through these little walls. Wow. And if this starts to get a little too easy, just flip it over and try it this way. And then you get an even harder path to, so there's different levels you can play at for your expertise. And it really is just a really fun roll and write that gives you the feel of a heavier game, but still only takes about 30, 45 minutes. But, but it gives you that satisfaction of a couple hours, you know, yeah, without yeah. that time commitment. Huh, that's really neat. Yeah, this looks great. How many players can this play up to? It plays up to five. Very nice, very nice. And uh, like you said, 30, 45 minutes. Quick and punchy. And you get the special die. You get the cool die. I like that. Yeah, as soon as this came out onto the table, I was like, ooh. And, and look at that cute little first player t token. Look at that. That's you have a little nice. bag to hold your cubes. The only thing we don't have in the box are the pencils. Okay, that's fine. We can probably bring our own pencils. <laughs> so when is this going to be available? We have it right now. It's available right it now. You can right go and get it right now. Right. Uh, MSRP on that. Twenty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety five. Forty nine ninety five. Forty nine ninety five. Coming in the future is twenty nine. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, this is a lot of game. Um, are the cubes in here right now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just a matter of so which ones bunch, come out. A bunch the... more cubes, and you set that up depending on the number of players. I'm guessing. Yes. The number that end up yes. in every every area. Okay. And Very the, nice. The black you can play with. You randomly put the cubes out, and if a red one had gone there, you'd automatically take the red away. So then you can play with or without the black cubes so that they there's more cubes out, black would be wild. Got it. So you there's instructions in the role and wanna know what else? There's a solo variant to this game. Very so cool. So you don't have to worry about, you know, you can't find any friends, Sam's not available. You could still play. <laughs> 
This is something that I think I would definitely play solitaire. This looks like it's right up my alley that I would enjoy. No. Sam's Sam singing sang, over there. You've got a friend in me. And I quickly shut that down. All right, very nice. So All there right. you go. That is Steamroll is available right now, $49.95. You can play solitaire. You can get your train game on in a nice time frame. That's it is. Cool. Get that, that really... big game feel in a little game box. Yeah, that appeals to me. So let's go ahead and scoot this out of the way and see what else you've got to show us. we got lots of good stuff. Lots of goodies. So we're going to move this. <laughs> you are just incorrigible, Bonacore. Incorrigible. I have no courage whatsoever. No, that's not what that means. That's not what that means. So let's go to Whoosh. Whoosh. Look okay. at that adorable little creature. Whoosh, there it is. That's what Vassal started his uh, review. He actually said that. Really? Yes, he did. He thinks he's cool. So these have some of the cutest creatures. When you can make a spider look that adorable. That's cute. See, so, so you are trying to... These creatures have are starting to menace the town a little bit. So you need to capture them and relocate them, much like we do polar bears in, in, in the, you know, in Alaska. You okay. Know, you need to get them out of the way. Okay. You need to be able to collect these weapons. If you have possession of those weapons somewhere near you, they will, cap, you know, bend down and let you capture them. Okay. Okay? So how it will start is these will be set into three piles and based on the player card those cards you might take out but we're just setting some out here. sure you put them out in three pot three stacks upside down and one from each stack would go into the middle okay we would each have a roughly about the same number of cards okay and every player would have so one at a time it's a one-handed game too you can only play this game with one hand okay You'd flip over a card, then you'd flip over a card. Oh, you happen to have a broken one. Everybody else at the table would flip one over. Okay, so that... When we saw that there were the correct weapons or and spells to capture the item, first person to put their hand over it would win the thing. Got it. Okay? So does this cancel one of those? Nope, it just you can't use it. So somebody might see an arrow and go, oh! Oh, so it's a broken a, arrow, got it, and got it. it wouldn't work. So you have to. There is also in here a rose, which is a wild, which is a wild card. It can be used for okay. anything. So there's also you can only capture one card. So if I went here and you went there, whoever got there first, or if we couldn't decide who got there first, there's little numbers on the cards which will tell you which one you can resolve because you can only resolve one. Wow. Okay. So then the card would go away. Right side up if you got it right, upside down if you got it wrong, and mm -hmm. a new card would come out. The game is over when one of those stacks is done. Okay. But after we resolve one of the animals, all the weapons that are on the table would come back under your stack, and we just start the next one round until one of the stacks is over. Okay, very straightforward, and then we've got these. They're just incredible little creatures, and they grow. So you score based on the points in the corner, but the creatures start to get a little bigger and a little, so they just kind of evolve and go through. Oh, So like there's I the see. four, here's he's a five. So he needs quite a few different things to be available. Right, so they start to get just a little bit bigger, but look at some of these adorable creatures. Aren't they just, you know. It's Cthulhu's cousin. You know, he's got the little horns, I mean. Look at that on, cat. It's really adorable. Earl, Earl Thulu. There we go. I um, like it. Yeah. Okay, well, and um, so this, I assume that does kind of look like Sam. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Um, so You'll I assume this is a very this. short game then. It probably play time it is, is very it's about quick. about 15 minutes, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, it's a, it's a and it's adorable. So yeah, you know, I think the box says eight, but you could very easily play with younger sure. kids because sure. it's not that tough. Maybe. Maybe don't bring your A speed game if you're playing with little kids. Give them a chance to actually, yeah. you know. But no, it's it's everyone that walks by loves the cuteness of the cards, and there's all the different weapons, and, and some these of are them very are clear, broken. They really some pop. Walk, right. So you could really play with your oh, and see that's, Ooh, that's that a, that's a that double. actually does Ooh. both of them. Okay. Yeah. So you would get both weapons with that card. Okay. But you still a little gotta trickery. Pay attention yeah. A little trickery. To what is coming out. Very nice. How many people can play this at the same time? Um, I'm assuming it's right uh, on the it box. It is on the box, and that one. 
Let's see. Here we go. Two to eight players. I thought it was a lot. Yeah. Ten minutes. And yes, ages eight and up. But you can so. definitely go less than. You can see how simple this is. You right. can go less than eight. Well, and eight players on the opposite side is probably right. madness. And all you, so. It's still only three cards in the center. You just divide the stack up. And it doesn't matter if everybody's stack is the same, so you don't have to spend a lot of time counting these up. Sure. And yeah. then they're very easy to push over to Steven, and he'll clean up the game as we put out another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're getting involved in this now. We're doing work. <laughs> Look at that. What a rare sight. <laughs> kind of like Earl Thulu. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Now we got Memo R. Memo R. We are going to Captain Goldfish's Island. And this is a five by five grid. I know I only laid out four. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I was gonna wait. Okay. I don't know how far out the camera goes, so we're oh, just gonna pretend fine. that Four last... by five is fine for right now. So then the it's center one. It's supposed to be five by five. Okay, the, the, center, the center one's center, gone. There's another row out there. The center one comes out, and treasures and volcanoes go in the center. One less volcano than number of players. Okay. Okay. So now there's two levels that you can play this game on. Okay. The first level is you are just trying to match either the background or the animal. And there's okay. five different backgrounds and five different animals. Okay? Got it. So if I would pick one, you do get a little cheat. You get to look at three cards before the game begins. Okay? Three. Just the, the three in a row. You get like the center three and I would get these center three. Missing a row. Somebody else. I know we know that. Okay. Then off I'll, camera. I'll do these three then. Okay. Right. And I would then get to look at these three. Okay. Got it. My memory is awful, but I'll try. Right. Go ahead. So then the first player would flip a card, and you would either need to match a walrus or sand. You would have a little bit of a thing. Maybe you got something that matches it. Maybe think you don't. this one? Yeah, background. All right, now I have to match one, and I think it was this one. And I didn't, so I would get a volcano. Oh, okay. Do and I still have to match around. that one then? Well, you would if there was more players, but since it's only a two-player game, we should only have one volcano. Sure. You would get a treasure. Excellent. Okay. Good. You would get a treasure. End of the game, whoever has the most rubies wins. Oh, I see. So this is actually the back of the card. Yes. That's the front of the card with two rubies. Right, but it's just it's a hidden treasure right now. Okay. So then, to start the next round, whoever has the most birds on their volcano, which I'm going to put them out here, is the start player. Oh, wow. So we have one, three, and seven. So then they would just randomly get shuffled back up, put here. And these cards stay in exactly the same position. Okay. And then the game begins again. Oh. So I'm gonna flip this one. Uh, oh, damn, you can match it. Yeah, I, I, it's not that bad, my memory. Oh, I clearly do. <laughs> it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. So you continue, so now you would have to match that one. Well, I, you, I know, you gave that me really, a hint, I know. Yeah, you helped me out. But so you go along seven rounds. So okay. it plays really simple, seven rounds. But that's level one. That's level one. Level two, every creature, if you match it correctly, has a power. Okay? Oh, okay. So if you match a turtle, his power is just slow in getting you there. So you just stay in the round. Okay. If you match a walrus, so if we were playing at the higher level, when I flipped that, I could have pointed to that card and said, Z, you can't flip that card. Protection, nice. So you just pick one card that the person can't flip. The penguin lets you peek at any card on the board. Okay. Okay. Then there is a crab. Um, of Let's course, I can't find my got. crab. There's a crab. Oh, there's a crab. The crab, he's kind of a little bit of a jerk. He looks like a jerk. He makes you flip another card. Oh, and guess what? Oh, oh, oh. If it's a crab, guess what you gotta do? Flip you gotta again. flip another card. Okay. So after you flip a, car, a crab, you kinda wanna focus on the background. Okay. So he's a little bit of a jerk. But remember how when we flipped the cards back over, everything stayed the same? Mm hmm The octopus changes two cards, he changes with one card orthogonally. So where you have thought the octopus was, he might have now shifted to an adjacent spot. And I have played games where the octopus starts on this on, side of the table, and he works his way all the way to the other side of the table. If you remember how far he's gone he's, in that exactly. game. So it seems really light, little kid's game. 
the kids have an easier time with it than the adults. Oh, I bet. I know I would be terrible but everybody at Everybody ends up laughing, which isn't that one of the reasons why we play games. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I play games. Absolutely. Is to have fun. So, light, fun, 15 minutes. You can decide how you want to play. Do you want to play yeah. with the cards moving around in an extra power? Or do you want to just, like, test your memory, which sucks anyways, and, and play it, you know, without the extra powers? Yeah, very nice. Very nice. So, Clear, colorful. It is. Makes sense. Uh, a delight, and a nice player aid, so it'll give you how to get along through. So okay. if there was a more, more players in the game, if I flipped the wrong card, the next player would still have to match the card I flipped. Okay. Not but you're what, out. the last one, but I'm out because I would grab a volcano. Mm -hmm. And I really like the first player of the next round. It's built into the volcano. Sure, right into so, the artwork. Yeah. So it's not, well, who, who was that? Oh, who had the most birds? You're the first player. So, and it was recommended for the Spiel des Arts. <laughs> One of the extra five, because they always recommend a few extra ones. Yes, yes, very nice. <laughs> yeah, this looks super cute. I have had gamers um, say, ah, oh, you know, give you that grumbling, and then we've all had fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I played this one a lot um, over the past, demoing it before it came out, because it just came out recently. So this um, is, is this out already for you guys? It is out. It's at the booth. It came out the beginning of the month, I think, mid, mid last month. So it is, but it's fresh out. So. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. So you can get that right now. At the booth. It's a light memory game, but with a little twist if you want it. Um, and that that's the uh, $29.95 one? Nope. That that's is the, the 19 $19.95 one. Okay, Here 1990. We have the there we go. Let's take a look at that. And this is the one which, you know, Stephen has that little tagline to go with. That the hashtag he the keeps hashtag pushing. That he keeps pushing, yes. Yeah, I'm not, I, and, and I, need, I myself won't mention it here. And if you need the hashtag, you know what? You can ask him what it is in the QA. Right? That is a fantastic QA question. For you, can, you can technically ask him what it is in the QA, <laughs> yes. All right, so we've got so baggies. Everybody gets a bag. These are great bags. And aren't they? Nice quality. They so really this are. This is why it's $29.99, you know, because look at the quality of this bag. Yeah, look yeah. at these gems. All right, lots okay. of gems, lots of goodies. Yeah. This is just your basic push your luck game. Okay. Okay. Um, you're putting them in. You are trying to draw the five pieces of gold out. Got Good it. luck getting them on your first turn. It's probably not going to happen. And you know what? I got this. If the first person who, who did it grabbed out all five gold, they would get a huge congratulations and we'd start again. <laughs> right. So what are we doing here? So anyway, so you draw out. If you draw out a single brown. So do I go ahead and draw something good. out here? No, we're just, I'm just going to explain it. You okay. draw out a brown, you're good. You draw out a white, you're good. Okay. You draw out a black, you're good. You draw out a second one, they're all coming back in. Got it. Okay. Um, into your bag. Um, you draw out gold, you can decide when you're going to bank it. Sure. Okay. The red one becomes a speed round. Okay. Okay. The green one, you have to draw three more out of your bag. Ooh. Okay. And the red, when I say a speed, two more out of your bag. Sorry, Stephen corrected me. Um, when I say speed red, it's everybody grabs their bag until the first person gets the gold. Now say I have drawn a white, a black, and a gray. I have two gold out of my bag and I decide to stop. This rubble can go in your bag. Oh, wow. <laughs> so if you stop and you're successful. You start sticking all your bad stuff on other players. You start putting your bad stuff on other players. So you get to pick who takes it? You do, you get to pick who's gonna take it. So, so you'd want to gang up on the person who's been able to draw a lot of sure, gold out. Sure, right, right. So really you wanna... poison their bag, basically. So I, I'll put the rest of my rubble in there. Right. Do, you do we do this one at a time? One at a time. So you know how? Okay, that's that's you can that. Keep drawing. Oh, I can keep going. Keep drawing until you decide. It's a push your luck. When do you want to stop? You got one. I got this. You got all five. It's only five. Yeah, but if I you can get, get more white, than five you put it back if you in. want. I can oh. do more than five if you'd like. I'm gonna stop. And then and you get I, those. And I get these. <laughs> I am I not that good at pulling I out lied. gold, so. So what happens if you hit that red? Speed round means we just you I just both start have pulling to draw also? until somebody okay. gets a gold. Alright. Uh, Keep I'm going. Just, I'm, okay. Keep going. 
beat me. <laughs> I got it. Do so I put this what? back in here? Here, and have that with you. <laughs> and then we keep doing that until someone going. gets five, and that's it, right? Until somebody gets five. All right, yeah. all right. Very simple, very and straightforward. You know, with two, but when you get five in there and that speed round and you try and get to side, you know, somebody's bag ends up really full of gravel and so you that's pass, what that other stuff is. You pass even the uh, the speed ones, right? Like you pass even these yes. to someone else. Okay. So yeah, my bag could end up completely different than when I started. Absolutely. But it's really easy to sort back out in the oh, end. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. And Tom Vassell hated the game. Why? Tom Vassell doesn't like fun. Oh, Hence, we now have the tag. <laughs> trending on Twitter right now. Okay. <laughs> this is what we have to put up with as the interviewer. But so now if you are watching this and you are at Origins, we will also be demoing Noria, so which is the big wheel game. Yeah. Um, beautiful. And so if you want to give, give that a shot, come by and do Noria. We're also doing Dungeon Rush. And, oh, that's it. We're doing six okay. games at the table. I mean, and so. you have these, obviously. So, right, uh, we got these four yeah. plus Nori and Dungeon Rush. So stop by, do a demo. So this looks Get like... Get <laughs> I, I kind of recommend it. It's, Everybody needs to get Once you get over that initial shock, it's not so bad. We, so, get it, we give them just regular shots. <laughs> and we can't go together. <laughs> so there's five bags in here, five player game then. Absolutely. $29.95. And it's out now. And that's out right now as well. Okay, that's a lot of goodies. Some uh, really pretty games. A lot of shorter games, which I have to say I like myself. You know, we so. have Stronghold has quite the spectrum. We so Nori yeah. is going to be the 70 to 120 minute game. Um, gorgeous. The way I see it, you know, everybody gets their own wheels, mistakes will be made. <laughs> uh, but you're responsible for your own mistakes. But right. then you can go 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. We have a game coming out in a month called Nimble. Literally, I've taught it and played it in five minutes. It has a little bit of a Dutch Blitz kind of a feel okay. to it. So okay. we go the spectrum. You want to play a couple hours? You want to play five minutes? Come to Stronghold for your games. Nice. <laughs> All right, I think with that, we're going to wrap it up over here. You've seen a lot of goodies. Um, we're going to do a uh, Q&A over Thanks, there Steve. now. Yeah, thank you for coming <laughs> by and showing me all these, uh, all these neat-looking games. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, and thanks, everybody, for tuning in and checking this out. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.